Here's three things you might not have known about doctors in the hospital. Let's get into it. Number one, some doctors only work in the hospital setting. I should know, I'm one of them. We're called hospitalists, and believe it or not, this profession is actually pretty new. In fact, the term hospitalist was first coined in 1996. Traditionally, the way it worked was patients in the hospital would be cared for by their primary care doctors. So these are clinic doctors who would spend the first part of their mornings rounding in the hospital before starting their day in clinic. This was great because the patient and doctor already know each other. However, as medicine became more and more complex, there became more of a disconnect between the skills needed to provide care in the hospital setting versus the skills needed in clinic. Because of this, we now usually have doctors who focus on working either in clinic or doctors like myself who specialize in working in the hospital setting. Number two, hospital doctors typically work seven days in a row. That's right, you can forget about Monday through Friday, it's Monday through Sunday. So that makes us workaholics, right? Well, not exactly, because we then get the next seven days off. This schedule is affectionately known as seven on, seven off, and is actually one of the reasons why I chose this profession. Sure, we work hard when we're on, but then we get plenty of time off to relax, travel, or do other things to unwind. Number three, hospital doctors have support. A lot of support. In fact, you could say it takes a small village to take care of patients. Just to give you a few examples, there's the case manager. So this is a specialized nurse that helps to coordinate the care uh, for patients, make sure everything runs efficiently. For example, some people are very deconditioned and after a stay in the hospital, they're not quite ready to go home. They might need to spend some time at a rehab center. It's the case manager who helps to uh, coordinate that. Then of course, there's the primary RN who spends probably, well, definitely more time than anyone else at the patient's bedside. Administering medications, doing procedures like inserting IVs or nasogastric tubes, and also being on the front lines for making diagnoses in the hospital. If somebody develops signs of a stroke, it's usually not the doctor who first notices this, it's the nurse. So these are very highly skilled professionals and without them, there would be no hospital. Then there's phlebotomists who specialize in drawing blood and then we have respiratory therapists or RTs. They were the MVPs uh, during the COVID pandemic for sure because they manage the airway, breathing, oxygen levels. Then we've got physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, pharmacists, and a whole slew of other professionals who are invaluable when it comes to taking care of patients in the hospital. Okay, thanks for checking out this video. So those are three things that you might not have known about doctors in the hospital. If you like medical content or medical adjacent content like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button there or check out another video here. And I will see you guys next time.